top yeah. line. Mm-hmm. Mr. Solly, you did a talk recently to the PAG organisation. You, you expressed a couple of really big concerns about the way the tax structure is going in the Isle of Man. Can I first of all ask you to outline those pretty quickly and, and succinctly what they were for people who weren't at the meeting? Well, before we get to that, if we may, Paul, my principal concern is that um, r- radical changes of the 010 followed by the DPC and now the ARI were, was a major radical change to the system of income tax in the Isle of Man. Now the proposal to abolish the ARI is a further stage in that um, uh, in, of radical change. And I don't think that, I don't believe that it is a matter of common knowledge how these things work in the Isle of Man. And sadly, our government and or the Treasury have not really sought to tell the people by way of a consultative document or a policy document exactly the nature and extent of the proposed, of the changes that will be coming in starting next April. Okay, well do you want to lay those out to us as you see them? Well, again, to keep it as simple as possible, I hope, and I have steered away from talking about a a tiered structure of tax, but for the purpose of illustration, if I could, if I was asked to volunteer what will be the tiers in the future, I would offer that it would be a three-tier system, which uh, broadly, fir- or first, will be the, let's say, the independently well-off members of our community who are able to outsource their incomes to companies, and the companies then will be, uh, their, the income of the companies will be charged to tax, calculated at a zero rate, and therefore will pay no tax. Who knows, the well-known tax cap may well become redundant in this case. Secondly, there are employees, pensioners, the unincorporated businesses, um, they will be paying, as they do now, uh, 10% and 20%. Of course, as individuals, they will get their personal allowances. And the third tier will be the least well-off in our community, the least well-off members in our community, um, who, pay, who presently pay no tax and will pay no tax by reason of the operation of the personal allowances. Yeah, I mean, you see it that the rich will get richer because they just won't pay any tax at all, they won't bother taking money out of their companies, whereas Joe Bloggs, who does have um, his own business, has to withdraw money each year and therefore will be taxed. That broadly is, yeah, the, what I see happening. Um, and, again, I would prefer it be, to be different, but I think the, my main complaint about this is that the consequences of the changes have not been spelled out. We were going into a general election, people had an, had an or the government had an opportunity to say that this, to make a case for what they're doing, and there is a case for what they're doing, simply to maintain the zero rate of tax for our client companies and trusts in the corporate service provider area. So there is a case for that. But at the moment, we simply have a one-line, really a one-line statement in the budget which says we're going to abolish the RE, and very few people know what the RE is in the first place. But the government says they had no choice, they have to remove that to comply. Well, that's an interesting thing. It would be interesting to know how we got to where we are, I mean, what steps, what... what, what has been the subject matter of the negotiation, what... What improvements over what we've got have we pressed for? And have uh, and has Europe said no, no, no? If that was the case, it would be interesting to know, and one might be a lot more sympathetic with the government rather than simply Europe says no, we're not having this. We roll over and do it without an argument. Um, it's been interesting that Jersey go with the Isle of Man on exactly the same uh, measures. That, that is interesting. Yes, and uh, but apparently Guernsey are going to stick with a 10% rate, so um, I can't read that either. But as I say, my main reservation about what's happened is that the, these proposed changes have not been um, have not been put in the in, in the public domain by the government. Okay, well let's put you back in charge. What will you do? Well, I think even now, and this may be unrealistic, I would. Um, point to our 
if, if I were in the government, and I'm not, and nor am I going to be, I would point at um, the difficulties we have politically. Um, or if just after a general election, the undertaking or the promise was given by a former administration, um, if it were, if if Tinwald were to have reservations about introducing the, the, new, um, the, the new regime, we should go back to Europe, say we're a new administration, we have, had pro we have problems on the VAT front, we have problems on the income tax front or the revenue raising income tax front, we've got the prospect of uh, national insurance co uh, contributions being rolled into income tax, and um, so we've got major restructuring to do on the tax, Basically, Europe, hey guys, can we have um, a couple of, uh, a year or a couple of years to review our situation? Who knows, maybe even appoint a commission to, um, to develop a new national tax strategy uh, for, for the Isle of Man. And just before concluding on this, the interesting thing also is that there is a quote from one of the uh, director of the, um, uh, some unit in the OECD, where well, basically he uh, recognises that he says he doesn't think that there'll be any politician that would introduce um, uh, the abolition of corporate taxation, and yet this is what we seem to be doing. Do you think they would have given more time then? Well, I don't know. We haven't been told. What about the certainty aspect, though? Now there is definite progression. The Isle of Man know, has set itself out its stalls. It, know, it knows where it's going. So has that not helped some of the tax community? Well, again, there's major uncertainty. There may be certainty as far as client companies, or to some extent with client companies, but as far as individuals concerned, because one of the things that has been mooted has been the use of anti-avoidance legislation to uh, take Isle of Man residents to task for avoiding, in inverted commas, uh, Manx income tax. Now, this the, the the grounds and what have you have not been, and the, the circumstances under which that legislation would be invoked have not been um, uh, have not been published.